Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of World Builder. And today we're talking about the oh so ubiquitous dungeon. Now dungeons are a ubiquitous thing when it comes to d and I mean, it's right in there. Dungeons and dragons. But what is a dungeon really? In the beginning of the game, what a dungeon kind of was, was just a place underground with hallways and rooms. Inside you would find traps, monsters, and loot. And there really wasn't much explanation for why it was that way. There were some stories of how an eccentric old wizard hid his grand staff or something at the end of this long gauntlet. But then you end up finding yourself asking why? Why not just, you know, bury it where only he could find it? Or, you know, people he specifically told where to look. It doesn't really make sense. And you find quite a few of these in your average D&D game. The whole concept of a dungeon even outside of D&D doesn't really make much sense. The closest we ever see in our own world to a dungeon is, well, the mausoleums that are found underneath a church, or a cave, or old tombs, or old burial grounds. But even then, you don't really see these sprawling networks, do we? What we usually see for tombs is a single chamber, and what we usually see in mausoleums is rather cramped spaces that, yes, do sprawl out eventually, but hardly the things you expect to find traps and monsters in. Just a bunch of dead corpses. So what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is that your world will always feel a little bit off until you give reason for there to be dungeons in your world. So, how do we justify having dungeons in our world without making it seem gamey. We better not call them dungeons to begin with, because dungeons don't really exist. Well, I mean, they do, but they usually were just a cellar in some old guy's basement that, you know, was used to hold prisoners of war. There's gonna be a few things that you're gonna to have to keep in mind. One, what is it protecting exactly? And why is it so important to protect? Is it perhaps an old artifact? An old laboratory? Who's going in and out of this dungeon? Is it meant to be gone in and out of? Or is it supposed to be left alone, never to be entered again? Who's building it? Is it a schizophrenic mage who's constantly paranoid, believing that there's assassins chasing him? Or perhaps is it a long-lost elven hero who believed that, although he couldn't destroy the great evil, maybe somebody else could? And that if they could pass these trials and tribulations, that maybe they could do it. Before we end, I wanted to give you an example of how I made several dungeons seem a bit more realistic in my world. One of the most common things that players come across in my world is the old ruins of the elves. Long before the campaign started, the elves were once immortal, unaging and undying. That would all change when they'd be separated from the Fade and their gods. They'd begin to age and to die, and to many of them who didn't quite understand how death worked, or how to even process this, they began to, in a rather macabre way, combine worship with death. They would have prayer and worship in the same place where the bodies were kept, hoping that one day their gods would come back and that perhaps the old dead could be brought back themselves. If these tombs tended to have important heroes from their age, traps would be laid, secrets would be had, and their most prized possessions would be left this would work well as a dungeon on its own, but perhaps other people have begun to infiltrate these places. And it made a lot of sense in my world to why a necromancer might have taken residence in these places, or a mage, or a demon. Because in these old elven crypts that were once churches to their old gods, there was a tether to that god. And many power-hungry people would tend to go to these locations to pick the bones of what was left of the old world. I hope that kind of gave you an idea of how to write these ones. And also remember to add plenty of flavor text in these places. If it's to a tomb, to an old hero, paint the walls with his heroic deeds. If it's this old decrepit place of an old archmage, make sure that there you might find some scribblings on the walls or scorch marks from when he 
was trying some experiments here. Make the world feel live-in. Don't just go with the bland gray walls and brick. Anyway, this is a bit of more shorter episode of World Builder, and I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, comment down below, like, share, subscribe, you know how to do. And remember to check out the Discord down below. I hope to be seeing you in the next video. Have a good day.